Hey guys, my name is Chelsea and welcome to my channel. I'm going to tell you how to be a, a decent white belt, how to not be an So you've started training Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. You feel like a, a bad mother. Yes, you're only a white belt. You think you've got something to prove. Disclaimer, there are white belts out there that can kick my all day. Mainly towards people who are baby white belts, the the kitties of the pool, the smallest of the small fish in the white belt pond. Or if you just need a reminder, or if you have a friend that you're like, hey person, you're being a little bit of a here's a friendly reminder for you. Don't be this white belt during drilling. Don't try to muscle or plow through your drilling partner, especially if they're higher ranked than you or just in general, it's not nice. Chances are they're gonna end up plowing through you and you might not have a whole lot of people that wanna work with you anymore. So... If someone gives you advice on how to better a move or just general advice on how to work a move, keep your mind open, try it out. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work and you don't do it again. If it works, then round of applause for you, my friend. Because it worked and it made you better. Wow, that happens. You know, especially if they're a higher rate belt, you know, they most likely earned that spot and they've probably been through what you're going through and they're like, oh, I, I did the same thing. Here's, here's the best way to do that or to handle that or to fix that. There is a difference and someone being the snotty, well, I am, I am the best white belt that I know, and I beat all white belts, and I know everything of white beltness. Learn and bask in my glorious belt of white. And just like offering suggestions to help your training partner to get better. My go-tos were always, you know, I'm not a coach, but. I think what coach blah 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 was trying to say was this, or coach yada yada was trying to show was this, or, you know, I had the same problem when I tried that move and this is what helped me. And you know what? If they take your advice and the coach comes over and they're like, the hell are you doing? Own up to what you told them. I'd always be like, sorry, my fault, my bad, I'm sorry, I told them that, it's my fault, I'm so sorry. Don't rush your partner through the move. If they have to sit there and go, oh well, get my get my left arm out, put my elbow down, shoulder, get up, shrimp. If they have to do that, it's okay. That's how they learn. And if you feel like you need to do that, don't feel pressure to rush through it. There is no point. Speed comes after control. You can technically speed through it, but it's not gonna be good and you're probably gonna get tapped out. Which comes to my next point. Always tap out. I'm sorry, did you hear me? Um, um, always tap out. Oh, you weren't, you weren't listening in the back. I'll, let me, let me say that one more time for the people in the back. Always tap out. Not worth it to get hurt, people. And if you don't tap out and you get yourself hurt, then it's your fault and you're out of training and well, that just sucks. Why'd you get injured when I didn't tap out? Guys, come on, be better than that. Plus nobody really respects somebody who doesn't respect their own boundaries of how far they can push themselves or their bodies without getting hurt. Yes, accidents happen. Oh, I'm the best in the world and I'm just not gonna let them tap me out because I'm the best. Don't do that. You're probably not the best. You, you might be pretty good, but you're probably not the best. And if you are, you know, like, don't be a if you just really don't understand something, ask your coach. And chances are, Bobby in the back is wondering the exact same thing you are. And they're gonna be super happy when you ask the question and they don't have to. Relax. No but, somebody might. 99.9% .9 of the people in your gym are not expecting you to become a jujitsu god within your first day your first week, your first year, 
or within your first five years. Be courteous. If your partner tells you they have an injury or a past injury that keeps them from going 100%, it's okay. Get the move on correctly and let it go. Don't be that person that's like, oh, you're you were injured. I'm gonna just hurt you anyways. I'm going to destroy you. It's gross, don't do that. You'll have the chance to destroy lots of other people. Have fun. Have as much fun as you can because if you're not having fun, what's the fun? You're gonna mess up on moves. You're gonna forget a lot of detail and that's okay. Enjoy your white belt ride. Improve your moves. Do your best. And before you know it, you'll be like, I'm pretty good. <laughs> AKA, don't be an ass. Simple, basic, beautiful. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed my video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next week. Have a great day. Be a good person. Don't be an ass.